Danny, how are you? Beachy, how are you? I'm groovy, I'm groovy groovy. Um, hello everybody, welcome. It is June 10th, 2020. It's Wacky Wednesday with Candy K and LBJ. How are you doing? How was today? It was okay. I'm having a rough day physically. I um, I, I don't know. If, you know, I have fibromyalgia, but I try to ignore it. And I'm not going to let it beat me. Right. Um, I stopped whining about it a long time ago. But this weather, it's a bad fiber week. Like, I'm in pain. And as soon as we're done, I am going to go, like, lay down. I, I, if I could lay in ice, I would, because my body hurts everywhere. Oh, wow, so, that bad. Besides that, I'm okay. I know two years ago on a day like today, I would have called into work, but I'm not uh -huh. giving into it. I'm just not, you know. Um, I muddled through and I got through my day and I stayed busy and I was able to just, you know, get through the day. So yeah. it was fine. And um, so hopefully this weather is supposed to be cooler this weekend and less humidity. So I think that's a lot of it, you know, so. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it wasn't three though, so it's not like I get to make a list. Oh, sorry. <laughs> It'll come. You know, no. my dad, did I ever tell you about my dad sneezes? No. Oh my god, my dad starts sneezing. We count. Nobody says bless you. Everyone counts. One, two. Up to 14, I think, is the record. <gasps> no. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's hilarious. And, and oh, then we're wow. all laughing, the kids, and, I, you know, and I'll be in the other room. I'll be like, seven. <laughs> what does he do? Like, get them all, all, all the whole years done in one day or what? It's hilarious. And we don't know why he does it. He doesn't know why he does it. It's really funny, though. That is so really crazy. Is. So, all right. I love that. So. I have to share some with you. Yep. Okay. Um, I've been like, I, I've been in in this weird tizzy these past days, and so and well, so let me just backtrack just a little backstory. So you know, I, I already told you, and I, I think I've shared this with with people um, that um, this the 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 COVID pandemic really has done a number on me uh, mentally, emotionally. Um, I, know, I know a lot of people are feeling it on the spiritual level too, just like I am. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if some of my pain is so intense because of what's going on in the world, being an empath. I wouldn't doubt that. I wouldn't doubt that at all because mm -hmm. sure yeah. you're, feeling, you're feeling the world's pain and maybe that's, maybe that's what it is that I'm going through. Mm -hmm. On a physical note, Physically, my body feels fine, but I'll go through moments where my head just is like just a, a bale of straw. And um, I just, I, I want to cry, but I only had a brain no. weapon. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. Um, we know what that's going to be for Halloween. <laughs> well, you know, I keep trying to pull off being the scarecrow, but I want to be the scarecrow from Batman, a scary scarecrow but i want to do it with mm -hmm. with you know my own makeup and stuff like that but i haven't cool. pulled it off yet mm -hmm. so um and i think maybe that's what's going on with me maybe that's what it is maybe you know maybe being being an empath and being that intuitive and being that 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 sensitive person on on that kind of a line is um where that's coming from or why why, why i go through these moments right mm -hmm. so yesterday um and I had been toying with an idea. So yesterday, I just sat down at my computer. It just hit me all of a sudden. And I'm just like typing away like nothing, feverishly. I typed just over 400, 4,000 words. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So I have an idea for where this is supposed to go. Um, this definitely has been an inspiration for me. And um, I certainly have an idea of, of, of what this is going to be. So. Um, and of course, I don't want to say anything just yet, but you know, like, you know, um, you know, don't want to jinx it, you know, and, um, but I had this, like, this, like, mini revelation for myself, and I felt so good about it, and I think, good. I didn't get a chance to do any typing today, but um, um, it's, I, I feel good about it, I feel good about it. 
Good. I'm excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's, it's just all of a sudden, you know, just like when you, when you get that clear head and then just something clicks or it makes sense and then you just kind of like run with that. You know what I mean? So, um, so I totally yeah. get it. what's that? I totally get that. Yeah. So, and, then, and I know you know what that means because, well, I mean, a lot of our, our people in our world know what that means because um, when that inspiration hits and you're just kind of like, I got to run with this. Mm -hmm. I, I, I got to do something here. Yeah. Something similar happened to me this week, not that I'm creating, but I watched a lot of the videos from the World Divination Summit or uh -huh. virtual meeting and i didn't even watch the one on kipper i just didn't i'm going to i still have to watch it but i've been really being pulled towards the kipper cards lately Hi, Troy. Hi. <laughs> yeah i was gonna give it a chicken oh you can put it on top of their bow sorry okay. um so anyways i signed up with tony is it pool or poulet i'm not really I think sure. it's I, I butchered it the whole weekend, but I think it's Poulet. Poulet, okay. I signed up to take her um, Kipper certification, and I'm super geeked about it. And so I haven't had a lot of time to sit down and start the classes. It's mm -hmm. work at your own pace. And I'm really like, that's part of why I'm kind of frustrated and, you know, like this pain and, you know, I'm like – trying to make the time to do it it's like i don't want to force it but because i'm so excited but every waking moment it's all i think about i'm carrying my deck with me i'm pulling a card trying to figure out what it means like i'm totally hooked just like i was when i knew tarot was going to become a thing for me right you know like more and more and more i want more i want more so i actually am going to set some time aside once you know a week i told troy when i take online classes i put that time there to be online in a class. So I'm going to put that time there one night a week, if that's, and more if I can, you know. Well, you're, and, and that's, that's time you're paying for. You're paying for that. Well, yeah, exactly. For yeah. It. And the housework is just going to have to wait. And Troy's going to have to figure out how to feed himself. Huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'll figure that out. No problem. Yeah. But so I'm super like geek to get going on it because, well, it's a, I don't know if you know what Kipper is, but it's a Bavarian style of reading from the 19th century. And right up your alley. Yeah. My mom's born in Bavaria. It's in my blood. You know, like, I, I got to learn it. I got to do it. I, I'm like, you know, like I was thinking about, I want to learn Lenormand and I want to learn Palms and there's other things I want to learn. But this one's like, I got to learn this. Connie, Connie, Connie. Yeah. We're over here. Totally <laughs> like, you know, yeah. So I'm so happy for you. I'm excited. And I pulled a card before the class, before this tonight. Uh-huh. got the high honors card. Ooh. So, that sounds good. good. But it doesn't sound bad. Look at it. It's a nice card. Unless she's going to the light. It could be. <laughs> That's so okay, too. You. So. you know what? For tonight, we'll look at that as she's going toward the light of knowledge. You're so smart. You should be doing that. <laughs> you give me too much credit. Um, you know, I'm so proud of you because I love the fact that you're so that you're so gung ho geeked over this because you're going to be really good at it. I know you are. Oh, thank you. I volunteered to be. Oh, you're welcome. I volunteered to be um, your guinea pig if you need one. Yeah. All right. Oh, no problem. You're my Careful friend. You I'm wish supposed for. to support you. What? Careful what you wish for. Oh, you know? Um, no, you, you're honestly, I mean, you're welcome. Uh, you're, um, you're my friend. I love you. And I'm supposed to support you. I'm supposed to be your friend. Yeah. I hope I'm good enough friend to get a, a page. No. <laughs> you're hilarious. <laughs> At least a sentence or two for sure. <laughs> That's good. You know, um, yeah. Oh no, I yeah, I know what you mean. But you, uh -huh. that brings me to, um, uh, that brings me to the topic that I thought we wanted to talk about today. Mm -hmm. Um, and 
how um, how you and I are just we're constantly supportive of each other. Yeah. Well, we're each other's cheerleaders. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, even to the point where where um, I love that I love that we have the the, the kind of a friendship where. Even if I'm like, oh, Connie, I don't know, maybe we don't do that, or but, it, but I feel like, I feel like we're that kind of friends that we can say that kind of stuff. Absolutely, yeah. You know? And not, and it's not coming from a place of bad. It's coming out of the heart to help each other. Right. Exactly. Because yeah. like, I, oh, don't do that because I don't want you to succeed. It's exactly. I'm in the middle of a recording. Sorry. That's okay. He doesn't understand what we're doing here. He thinks oh. we're doing on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that's just it. You know, um, it, that, that brings me to the point of I, I'm, I'm always so surprised. Um, and, and, you know, truly, I, somebody said, oh, well, I don't know why that surprises you. But I'm always so surprised by the fact that um, other spiritualists, psychics, readers, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. I'm so surprised at how many, you know, really don't support each other. I know. You know, I'm always one to share. I mean, I teach tarot. And okay. people ask me, why are you teaching competition? I don't look at it as competition. I don't think there's enough of us to go around. I think the world needs more of us. And Amen. I'm not, you know, and your style of reading may be very different than mine. There's no right or wrong way to read tarot. The only right thing or wrong thing to do is to do it from a place of bad intention. Exactly. You know, if you have good intentions and good heart behind it, how can it be wrong? Right. Right. And I don't read tarot. I mean, yes, I do it to make money. Don't get me wrong. It is my side gig, my side business. It is my business. But... It didn't start that way. You know, I did it originally to help myself. And then I saw the help that I got from it and how great it was that I wanted to share that and help others. And, exactly. and it just evolved from there, you know? And um, there's so many people that I've come across that are kind of cutthroat. But like the first year we went to Reader Studio, I had no idea what to expect, right? And we're there with like heavy hitters in the tarot world, big time. Like, yeah, the best of the best, right? Authors, the, creators, like leaders, yeah. Yeah, the grandmothers of tarot, you know, all, like the ones who wrote the books in the 60s, you know, they're there with us, sitting across the table, working on a spread with us like they're one of us. Right. And that was so empowering for me when you go to these kind of conventions. Not every convention I've been at is like that, that has that same feeling. If well, you know, when uh, the first time we went to that, and that was in 2015. Holy cow! Can you believe that? It was 2015. Wow. That was our first year. Wow! Right. Um, we both walked in barely knowing each other. Number one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then you walk in. I remember Troy's reaction. What do you mean you're rooming with a guy you don't know? I got a good feeling, Troy. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Uh -huh. um, but you walk into this room of like 200 plus people and you're all there for the same thing. So in the first hour, I had 10 new friends. Yeah. Within a couple of hours, I had 20 new Facebook friends. By the end of that conference, I mean, I like love these people. Yeah, right. Yes. It's not just like someone I met at a conference. It's like, that's my friend from, yeah. Florida. that's my friend from Florida. That's my friend from California. I mean, I really call these people my friends. Yeah, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. um, the best part about it is, um, it, 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 it is a huge world out there. And you're right when you said, um, tons of different tons of different styles for as many tarot decks that are out there that's how many you know readers there are out there and that's mm -hmm. how many styles that are out there mm -hmm. and um sometimes i'm just in awe at how um how some people treat each other um small example 
Okay, small example. So I went to go work at the psychic fair once. And I don't know if I ever told you this story. So I, I, I'm brand new at this, at this fair. They, they, they meet like once a month. And um, this was in 2003, maybe? 2004, 2005. So I, I, this, and this is like my first major like gig that I'm working at, right? So the this one lady says to me, and I will never forget it. She ended up being a, a, a pretty decent friend. We weren't besties, but she ended up being a pretty decent friend at the end. But um, her name was Lily. And the first thing out of her mouth to me was, um, well, first, hi, I'm Lily. I'm like, hi, Lily, I'm Al. Um, just so you know, I always get all the military and all the gays. And I'm like, what? What do you mean? She goes, those are my customers when they come in. I'm like, oh, okay. But yeah, that was the first thing she says to me. I get all the military and I get all the gays. And I'm like, oh, okay. So like, should I not work here? Is that what you're saying to me? Like, you know, like you're, mm -hmm. yeah. You're not... I, I, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. And I'm like, the first thing somebody says to me at like being brand new at a fair and I don't know these people and you know I've never worked in a public setting like this and it's just like and I'm not saying hold my hand but like oh my god slap me down first and then just sit me next to you okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's that that's like that it's just like right right and yeah that would have that would have intimidated me too <laughs> Now, now that, okay, it would have intimidated me for sure. But now that would have been like, game on. Amen, sister. I mean, every military guy coming in, I'd show a boob to get him to sit down. Just <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm kidding. But, but you know what I mean? It's like, oh, yeah. okay. You know, that those kind of things motivate me, like, I don't know if it's just the shitty person I am or what, but stuff like that motivates me even more because it's, I don't know. But I don't, but it's not, it's not, not that nice people aren't going to motivate me because nice people I work with. Do you know what I mean? Right. I'm all about sharing knowledge and, um, you know, I like, well, we do the Bastille Days tent and we have 30 readers, 30 plus readers on our list. You know, right? We could have said we're doing it. Would have been dead ass tired by the end of them four days, but well, I, you know what I mean. And I'm always willing to give someone a chance. But then you get people there that are just, you know, I want this, I want that. These are my, you know. Then go somewhere else because I ain't doing that. Right. You or, know? Um, or you get those readers who who um who just like talk smack about everybody else or that's another thing i never talk smack about other readers unless i'm talking to you but um, <laughs> <laughs> because you don't know where it's going to go and you don't know their backstory and you don't know why they're like that right you know what i mean right um, i may tell somebody you know because not every reader is for every person and not every person's for every reader i've had people right. You know, you might want to sit with Al. He'll be better at this for you. He's going to, you know, or you may want to sit with reader A, B, or C. I, you know, I, this is right. thing we're going to do together. And I don't mind doing that. I don't mind doing that at all. And if people say to me, I don't like your style of reading. I had a better reading with Al. Well, okay. Now we know. So enjoy. Do you want a refund? Well, it depends. But, no, you know, but right. and it's okay. You know, it's okay. You, there's a gazillion restaurants. Not everyone has the same taste in every flavor, right? Right. So um, it's okay to be with someone else. But what I don't like is when readers come in and they kind of bump you out of the way. I'll tell you an instance. Okay. I, I may have shared this. I was reading at an event. It wasn't a great event for a tarot reader to be at. But, you know, I did okay. And um, it was the wrong kind of setting for tarot. But it was fine. And this other girl and I are reading and someone's talking to me and they're like, Oh, I would love to have you come to my daughter-in-law's baby shower and do readings for everyone. 
do you think that would be okay? And I'm like, well, yeah. And so we sit down and I talked to this woman for a good half an hour, giving her some ideas of, you know, maybe we can lighten up the reading a little bit. And I'll use the angel deck instead of a, you know, like, yeah. you know, it's a baby shower, right? Like, yeah, make it fun. You know, and I don't know if I said the angel deck, maybe. Yeah, I think I did. And we were talking about different things. So, you know, like I could use my pugs and kisses deck or, you know, something more, like, like yeah because there was going to be a lot of like teen girls there the, the pregnant girl was like 17 or something you know but this other that reader sounds like so much fun yeah this other reader i've been working with she's like oh well i have this animal deck which is really cute and i have a ton of angel decks and i would be you know people might not want what she offers because it can be scary and i'm thinking what the hell so, are you I'm not, you know, like what's more scary? What's scary about a pug? <laughs> so she tried to shoot you down? Well, yeah, she was trying to, and I understand where she was at, but it, it pissed me off. It's like, I just spent 35 minutes talking this woman and selling myself and you came in and bogarted it. Uh, uh-uh. no. that's cool. You know, and then <laughs> kicker was she said she undercut me to my face and i just looked at the lady i said well be careful what you wish for because you get what you pay for and i don't think she called either one of us but it was kind of like wow see but that's what i'm saying it's stuff i i i don't get that i don't get it mind you there's a difference between how I like a person and what I think about the way that they work. Right. Right? There's a difference, right? Because mm-hmm. some people sure. I just don't jive with, but I like the way they work. Right. Yeah, good work. But I'm like, oh, you know, that's not for me. You know, I, that person's not for mm-hmm. me. Or I really like the person as a person, and I'm not really crazy about their style. <laughs> but I'm certainly not going to go and try to knock somebody like, like that story you just told. I would yeah. never do that. Right. Or the one you told. I get this and this. You know? Oh yeah. Let the per- let the let the sitter who's coming in the room decide what reader they feel good about. Right. Right. Yeah. Because honestly, in the end, it really is it really is about that. It really is about it's the about the s- them. Yeah. Right. That happens right. between you and your sitter. Exactly. And then some other etiquette, like don't undercut, don't steal people's work without giving them credit. Oh, that's huge. Yeah. You know, um, I, I mean, you know, honestly, that really is a thing in every profession, I think, right or another. But yeah, that's, that's a big deal. Stealing people's work. Um, Right. And undercutting. Oh, that's awful. But like you said, now, mind you, I'm not going to be like, oh, well, you know, I, 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 I guess I wouldn't have said, well, you get what you pay for, but, <laughs> yeah. but I mean, you're, and I'm not, I'm not saying nothing about that. You, you said what you had to say. And that's all mm-hmm. to do it. And that's, I mean. And my prices are already low, I feel. I don't feel like I charge a lot. There's readers out there that are worth every penny they charge. They are. They are. I've paid a lot for readings. It's just not the place I'm at, you know? Right. Um, I make it, I make an okay living doing it. So I'm content with that, you know? Right. How about people that I've had people come to my class? I'll take two classes and then I'm going to be a tarot reader and make lots of money. Cause I saw this one lady who charges $150 for an hour. So I want to learn how to do this so I could, it's like, yeah, you're not going to make it in this world because people see through that fake shit. You're doing it for reasons. Right? It's not easy money. It's years and years and years and years <laughs> and conventions and books and conferences. And how many hours are we on the phone talking through issues or areas? Or it, it, it gets to be heavy duty. It does. You know, it may not be a college degree, but the work is there. <laughs> right? Amen, sister. Uh-huh. Amen. Um, but I think I, I, I really do feel like. Um, it, it, I just, I just wish that everybody could be on the same page and just, you know, 
be supportive mm -hmm. of each other and share with right. each other right. and make each other feel good about the work that they're doing. And just be respectful, you know? Yeah. Right. That, you know, oh, this deck of cards, this is my favorite, blah, blah, blah. You might say, eh, it does nothing for me. Okay. But that's but, okay. But it's not like, oh, I would never buy that guy's work because blah, 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 or whatever, you know? Right. Like, yeah. You know, because well, it's... And, just like, well, like I said earlier, for as many decks of cards there are out there, there are that many readers with that with that much different tastes. Right. And then you have, you know, we're talking about like kind of etiquette with other readers. Then you have the ones who think they own tarot or they own your neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Or, I, you know, they like, own your you know, city. I'm the tarot reader in my city. Okay. Yeah, you're, um, what, what, what is that? What, um, yeah, like they're territorial. Yeah. Territorial. That's a good word. I love that. <laughs> they're territorial. Yeah. Um, yes, I have. Well, I have witnessed that. Me, I've yeah. Witnessed that. I've seen that. And that's just so bogus, you know, like, because not everybody's for every reader, you know? If, and there's plenty of room. Mm -hmm. Plenty of room for all of us mm -hmm. to work. I've had people, I, I, I shit you not, this happened to me. I, you may have even been there. Um, where they try to bullshit people. And people see through that. And don't try to bullshit. If it ain't, if it's not working, then say so. There's times I've get I've gotten blocked, and it's like oh, just, okay. You know, so quit trying to bullshit your way through it to get the twenty dollars. It's not worth it. No, it's no. integrity. You're um, in the end. Well, of course, in the end, number one, you're not helping your person. Mm -hmm. Helping the person who's sitting with you. Right. Right. And then number so, two, especially when we're at fairs with other psychics and stuff, it's like I'm really sorry. You might want to look around because I am just not. Feel the, the messages are not coming through clearly, and I don't know if I'm blocked or you're blocked, but maybe sit with somebody else. Here's your money back. I mean, I've said that. I have too. You know? I have refunded. I'm like, I'm sorry. Can you help me out here? What do you think of this card? I've asked you that and with the sitter sitting there. Like, I'm yeah. not getting this. What do you know? Like, it happens, and it's okay. Right. And... I don't know. To me, integrity is worth way more than in the cost of any one reading. Exactly. And I'm with you. I have definitely, um, I've definitely done that, the refund and said, you know what, this person's going to be a better fit for you. I'd rather you get the help you need or sit with someone who understands you and understands the situation versus, you know, taking that 20 bucks. Right. Right. You know, and I've, I've witnessed people tell other people, oh, when you see a butterfly, it's your deceased friend visiting you. Thank you. I mean, that's the reading. No. Anna. That might be true, but still at the same time, like, um, like you can say that to anybody. Tell me more about that. Right. Exactly. Well, wouldn't you want to? I, I would want to. So things like that, you know, and um, so as a reader, when you see shit like that, it makes, that shit makes me kind of crazy. Well, you know, and you're right. And the hard part about that is that, um, of course, right then and there, you can't approach it. It's not something you're going to be like, oh my God, why did you do that? Or why are you no, doing that? of course not. I'm not one to judge anyone's reading style. Well, I judge it, but I won't, I'm not one to correct it. Oh, I, I hear what you're saying. For me, mm -hmm. um, I don't know if judging is the proper word for me, but I do watch how people work because I'm fascinated with yeah. how the other people work. I like I, I watch you and like you know especially like you know speaking of which, um, people have come, people have come to me at things that you and I are we're both working at, and I'm like you know what, the answers you're looking for you need to go to Connie. She does chime casting. It's awesome. You're gonna love it. She's going to be able to help you get. I've done that too, right? Mm -hmm. And then from there, I mean, because I, you know, I sit and I watch you do those, do the charm castings. I'm not trying to listen to the reading. I'm right, right. To you work, and the thing of it is, is I love watching people work. I mm -hmm. love watching how they do things 
the the expressions that come over their faces. The, Me too. Yeah, you can see what's going on. I mean, I might not be able to read their what they're feeling psychically or whatever like that, but you can see them, you know, change as they're going through the readings. And I love. It's that. almost like the spirit or whatever is coming through, yeah. and you can see it happening. Yeah, because we know what's going on as a reader. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, as exactly, and that's a great way to say that. As a reader, I know, um, I know the the overall vibe of what's happening to you, but mm -hmm. getting to watch it happen that is that's it's so much fun, and I'm so in awe of how people work. Mm -hmm. But you're right; it 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 does make me, it does put me off when people, um, they're just holy cow! That's a half hour already. Really? Yeah, I know. Like, right? Um, it does put me off when people um, are, um, you know, beat around the bush or whatever like that. And again, if it's not clicking, it's not clicking, and that's okay. It's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right, right. One more thing I want to touch on is when I've seen this firsthand, and it it makes me my insides scream when other readers are making fun of other readers oh like like it's it gets very clicky and it's like god we're not even tarot readers spiritualists you know like we're not about clicks are we i'm not i'm not click with my people i mean when i go to a convention with 200 people yeah there's a click i hang out with because well, they're the met but i try to meet more friends and i never sit in the same seat at a convention i'm i go from table to table because i want to meet people and and i'm a social butterfly at those things but you know i'm going out to dinner with the same guys every night you know that kind of thing right but see but i i think what you're saying i like i, I hear what you're saying um it is that you get along with certain people a little bit more and that's right. because you click on a deeper level other than just like you know, oh, well, we're, I'm going to give you examples. So like, oh, well, we're the pretty psychics. Oh, well, we're the oogie boogie psychics. Oh, well, mm -hmm. we're the blue psychics. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Oh, well, mm -hmm. we're the talk to the dead psychics. You know what I mean? Right. They're like, you know, those kind of things when you can, I don't know, just like high school, you can tell when it's clicky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you can also tell when someone someone's friendship is genuine too. Right, you know I mean? right. So when you're friends with somebody and you're actually friends, not that you, and you guys don't have a damn thing that you share with each other as far as like interests or, or, or styles or, you know, the kind of uh -huh. tools that you like to use, you're just friends. And that's, that's, that's the best part. Right, right. right. Exactly, you know. It's, yeah, and I've seen that. At the last conference I was at, there was, you know, at this one particularly, there was a after conference party in someone's room every night and it was really okay. fun. And it was like, you know, I actually, it, like you felt like one of the cool girls going to okay. this. Cool kids, right? But the people that were there, some dressed really drab and some dressed high end, and it had nothing to do with who they were, how they work, how they dressed. It was just one big group of people that were just genuine, and it was so awesome. And that is way better than being a cool kid that everyone looks up to because, you know. Because you're a cool kid. Right? Yeah. You know? I'm jealous that that was that you got to be a part of that. So that's so much fun. And the, but the thing of it is, is you want to be a cool kid, hang out with Al. Oh, <laughs> hardly. <laughs> Just a big old dork over here. <laughs> but no, I, I, I know what you mean. Um, and for me, I, you know, so. I, I really just, I, I just wish people would just be able to support each other a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I realize that being human, we're not going to get along with everyone. No, you know, and you're, you're not, not supposed see, to. No, and you're not. Well, you don't you have to be a dick. Eye to eye. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be an ass to other people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're right. I love that you said um, it's your intention. It's what's in your heart. Um, that truly is is the bare bones basics about 
why anybody would do anything that they do. I mean, I think mm -hmm. um, for the most part, and of course, um, I'm casting a really big web here with this, but for the most part, um, and I'm not saying specifically this moment in time, the state of the world, I don't mean that, but I do mean when the world goes through turns, like we like the world is going through a turn now you know what yeah. I mean? it goes through it goes through those moments yeah. trying to say that this is the same thing i i i i, I wouldn't be as bold or, or as, as ignorant as that but it really boils down to what's in your heart is is what dictates how the world behaves what happens you know like what 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 ends up you know coming Mm -hmm. there's a lot of ugly there right now and even from people with good intentions the ugly's coming out it's yeah. like i don't know what it is about this year but that ugly is showing its face and hard. it's hard it's really hard to keep to keep a a, a, a sanity space in your head at least for mm -hmm. me and i know for you too because i know you go through those moments where it's hard mm -hmm. yeah for sure i saw the best meme today it says, I feel like the end of every month, the Oompa Loompas are going to come out and sing a song with a lesson for this month. <laughs> I would love that. Like, that like sums it up right there. I would love that. <laughs> that would be the best thing ever. Oh, oh my God, yeah. yeah. Oompa Loompa, don't be a dick. <laughs> Oh God! What will you do if the fever, or if you get sick? <laughs> right. <laughs> or that's what you get. <laughs> Wear your mask. I don't know. <laughs> Something. <laughs> oh my God! Down to our time, lady. It all yeah. by so fast. I know, right? I know. It's crazy. So um, I like your office. You hung pictures. Yes. Um, this is the, one of the paintings that we did at, um, yeah. at the studio. I bought that one from Christy. I bought those two from Christy. <laughs> Christy's a fellow reader who does um, art paintings. She's Christy, great. Uh, Christy West Westbrook. Westbrook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. She's um, yeah. I I I put some art on the walls in here. What's that dangling? My thing? friend gave me that rainbow <laughs> globe right there. <laughs> Is that made out of beads? That. It must huh? have been so hard. Yeah, it's, yep, it's, it's, it's. Oh, uh, that friend I, must really love you. <laughs> well, from what I heard, it's extremely labor intensive, and she kept drilling that point home. <laughs> <laughs> I do love it, sweetie. It's so awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, funny. Um, well, I'm glad we got a chance to talk, and I know it's like a heavy duty subject, but I think that sometimes it's stuff that just got to be said out loud. Yep, it does. And you know, like, I, I mean, I, I can be a dick to people, and sometimes I don't even realize I'm being a dick to them. So sometimes people just don't realize, you know, what it's about. Oh, I've had, I've had my moments, guilty. I've been, I'm so Me too. an asshole. I really am. But you know, I I I I don't mean to be. And it just I mean, right. It just it's not your nature. That's if I'm being an asshole to you. You earn that shit. <laughs> That's it. I, I don't. I'm not an ass first, nice later. I'm very nice. But you get me to a limit. Look out, man. It you this yeah. This smile gets ugly quick. I know what you mean. Yeah. So on that note, let's smile out of here then. All right. <laughs> have a great one. Let me know how What's many that? words you type tomorrow. Oh yeah, I got to get my button gear and get. Yeah, back. I think since I have my computer, I'm gonna get my class one done. <laughs> I'm so excited! I can't wait to hear what hear how that works for you. I really am excited for you for that. Yeah, yeah, I am too. I'm super geeked about it. Good, and so, it's too funny yeah. that you say it that way because the card the card geek, geek yeah, um, that's that's her handle, card geek. I love it. Yeah, she's awesome. Awesome teacher, too. All right, ladies. See you later. Have a good night, honey. You too. Say hi to Tom. I will. Say hi to Troy and the babies. Bye. Bye.